Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. It has been a very long time since I've been to Disney Springs and today I decided to just take a little stroll around the springs and check out some of the cool shops, see some merchandise, maybe get some food and just take in all the ambience. So let's go do this. And I suppose a first stop would definitely be the wonderful world of Disney. Ooh, look at that. Stitch is spitting up a storm. Wow, I tell you, the AC is blasting in here. It's a hot day out today, so it kind of feels good. One thing I really like about the new world of Disney is the fact that everything is kind of in its own section. Like, this is the mug section. Mugs. So we're going to take a look at some of the cool, fancy, nifty mugs they got going on here and see if there's any that might entice us to buy them. Wow, I like this mug. It looks a little cartoonish, but you can see you have Epcot, Monorail, Expedition Everest, The Tree of Life, Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror, and Magic Kingdom Cinderella Castle. Oh, little Space Mountain over there too. I like it. Oh, is this supposed to depict Soren? Wow, fancy. I don't know how much they are. They're not marked. Oh yeah, $14.99. <laughs> Look at this. Now that is a proper size coffee cup. Oh yeah, that is pretty awesome. The Baymax one too. And if you look on the inside of the Baymax one, it actually tells you how you're feeling. Look at that. Huh? I like it. These kind of mugs are always cool too. Look at Genie. Because then like when you like hold it up to take a sip, it looks like your bottom half is that. Mm. <laughs> take a dive into the clothing section and look at it in here it's very pink must be we're in the ladies section yeah that's what it looks like look at this i remember when this was a hot commodity here i couldn't get it anywhere and now they got leggings too fancy look at these fancy little ponchos well they're not ponchos but i like it wow that's pretty cool $50, oh. They got a little Marvel section over here too. That's pretty awesome. Got some Avengers hats. Ooh, I don't like that material though. Some just classic Marvels and some kind of Halloween costume. Strange. I do like this coffee mug though. It's like Thor's hammer. That's pretty awesome. $20. They have a really cool Toy Story 4 section that I really like actually. So we're gonna take a look at some of the cool stuff they got over there. Look at this. Look at the little Forky up here. You don't even need to go to Hollywood Studios to meet him. You can just come right here. <laughs> that is so awesome. Duke Kaboom, the greatest stuntman of all time. We got a little Buzz Lightyear. Oh, all right, look at that. I'll tell you what, they're really going all out about Bo Peep on Toy Story 4. They have action figures, t-shirts, costumes, hats, craziness. They even have the action staff. That's funny, they call it Bo Peep action staff. From Toy Story 4 to Star Wars, they have another great section. Where you at? Look at that. That is awesome. And it looks like we're bringing flannel back. Pretty fancy. Ooh. Crushed a rebellion. How much is that? $65 for a flannel? Wow. <laughs> they also got some fancy Star Wars bags here, too. Look at this little Yoda. Look at that face. Oh, usual. Who's a Yoda? Who's a Yoda? If a Yoda bag isn't good enough, they got Yoda ears. Who even knew? Another cool thing that I like is the way that they showcase the graphic tees here. They have them on like big screens and it's actually really cool looking. Look at how they have these set up. I like it a lot. 
My other ride is a monorail. That is right now at the character warehouse. Same thing with that single rider. That's a little sketchy, don't you think? I think they were $7.99 and they're selling for $24.99 here. I think my friend Jaggy's got that shirt right there. Look at this fancy floor. <laughs> Unlock the fun. Ooh, I like these shirts. They're like retro Walt Disney World. Just like the shirt that my friend Jackie has. But this one's like a green one. And I like these. They're like baseball tees, I think they call them. How much are these? $34.99. Well, that's a little steep too. What can I say? T-shirts are expensive. Life is rough. I decided to exit the world of Disney because there is a lot of stuff I want to buy in there and right now I'm kind of on a tight budget. So the temptation was getting to me so I was like, let me go outside. Let's explore elsewhere in Disney Springs. I also want to show you guys one of my favorite little bathroom spots here at Disney Springs. Right behind Ghirardelli, there's this little door on the side here that actually has a little bathroom. Well, it's Ghirardelli's bathroom, but the reason I like it so much is because it smells like chocolate in here. Oh man, as soon as you walk in, wow, it smells so good in here. And look at, they even got the doors brown like chocolate. Well, things aren't making sense. I left the world of Disney because there was getting to the point where I wanted to buy a lot of things. And I ended up at the 28 in Maine, which is one of my favorite places to shop. And I am not disappointed because they got some cool fancy stuff. I like these cool shirts right here. Look at this. And they say Walt Disney World right down the sleeve. And they have it in a bunch of different colors. That's crazy. $39.99, that's not bad. That's actually not that bad. Look at these cool shirts. Look at that, believe. Have I gone mad? I like it. <laughs> ah, look at this. I just got this hat at the Character Warehouse for $7 yesterday. It is $28, wow. I like this cool Rose and Crown shirt too. It's your round, raise a pint, good time, Scottish egg. Great friends, sticky toffee pudding, Rosen Crown. That is pretty awesome. They have a bunch of different ones, like that one. Oh, and they have uh, Jack Lindsay's Hanger Bar t-shirt. That's pretty awesome. That's cool. They always have amazing t-shirts in there that you don't see inside the parks. That's why I always like to stop in there. So now we're gonna head back down Disney Springs because we're at the far, far end and then see what we see as we walk about. Oh, I like when they're doing this, actually. You notice at the Lego store, they say, pardon our dust. And they have like these little construction workers because they're getting ready to erect a new Lego statue. I think that's awesome. Wow. Well, I traveled back to the fancy section of Disney Springs. That's what I relate this to. It's like very fancy, upscale. I don't know. There's just something about it. They got stores that I don't even know how to pronounce the name of. Nahuku? Lokatan? Zara? But forget about all the fancy name stores. I want to show you where it's really cool to hang out and relax. Right here at the Disney Springs Guest Services. They got rocking chairs out front. Ooh, yes. And they got free water on the inside. Oh yes, free water. And it's not those little cone cups either. Oh, and I missed. Nom 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 nom. Then you can take your water and go out and hang out and look at the springs. Look at it. That water is so crystal clear. <laughs> I would like to go for a swim, please. Actually, take that back, because God knows what people throw into that water. And poor Disney, they keep a good job keeping it clean, so they must have a great team on that. Great job, good job. I do gotta say one thing, though. Disney Springs definitely has some of the best fountains on property. So I guess that's gonna do it for me. Like I said, I just had a little fun hanging out, walking around Disney Springs and looking at some pretty fun ones.
So love the life you live, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.